Welcome to another episode of the No Promises Podcast with your host, Sean Stepp. You can hear my hair growing. And Jeff Briggs. Hi, run the way. Two fiction fanatics talking about games, movies, and comics, and whatever else pops into the conversation. On with the show. Episode number four of the Sean and Jeff No Promises uh, podcast. Yeah, we have a name now. Yeah, that's name. pretty crazy. No and promises. For ready to sue us? We have an asterisk after No Promises, so suck on that. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what are we gonna talk about today, Sean? Uh, I saw uh, American Gods this past week. I've been watching that. And, uh, actually more Cindy's been watching it and I've been watching it in the background. Okay. But, uh, it I seems like... I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say that I heard they had a season finale already, so I know that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, we saw, we saw the season finale, right? Yeah, we saw that and, uh, I mean it was, it was a cool show. It's kind of hard to follow, so I don't know how many, um... People might f- feel like overwhelmed by trying to follow it because it does like bounce through timelines pretty hard. Yeah. But um, if you can stay with it and everything, it's actually really cool with the writing and everything, and the uh, dialogue's really cool. From what I understand, the premise is about um, like the old gods, like gods of like multiple mythologies, being at odds with the new gods of America, which are things like fame and money and stuff like that, yeah. and uh, I don't know anything besides that. I know that it's not super apparent as to which gods are which when they're first introduced, because they all yeah. use, like, nicknames. Yeah, they all they all use, like, different names, and as it, go, as it like, goes on, it kind of gives hints to who is what god and stuff like that. Right. Um, yeah, it's basically the old gods... Uh, talking about how they've been forgotten about because the new gods and it's kind of weird too because they talk about not only is there american white jesus but there's all these jesuses because of because it's really all been believed in yeah it's really but weird they exist so they belief. yeah they only exist because of belief and so he was like, like freddy krueger if you don't believe in them they die <laughs> right 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 <laughs> it, it's, it's kind of a weird idea and like um even uh, like easter they touch on the fact that one of the, um, the fight, uh, it seems like they go off like Norse gods, like all Nordic, Nordic gods. Uh, it's all like Viking based instead of Roman polytheism. It seems, uh. Well, I've, I've seen stuff on like, uh, I think like, um, voodoo gods as well as like African gods. What, talked about on there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they do talk about all kinds of different gods and everything. It's just the main characters it seems to revolve okay. around is a Norris god, and it talks about them being the old god ma- mainly. But they talk about all kinds of different gods, too. I guess they too. could be considered the oldest, besides the Sumerian one. Yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, like, they, they touch on one point how Easter wasn't the resurrection of Christ, Technically, it, it was a, a, a celebration of yeah, the spring of solstice and rebirth, or something. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. So um, they had, uh, they touch on that and how there was like a Nordic god for that. And it was a female or whatever. And her day get, basically got trans, uh, changed into um, like the rebirth of Christ, probably because of in like Roman times, uh, they wanted to make Christianity the new happening thing, so they took a lot of pagan holidays that people were already yeah. celebrating and just threw like, the Christian oh, well, stuff like, over it. You can celebrate our holiday while we celebrate your holiday. Right, and, and then, then it, it slowly just, like, just envelops yeah, the like other one. The yeah. more holidays that you celebrate that we also celebrate, you might as well worship the same God. And yeah, that, it was a works. festival about yeah. rebirth, uh, talking about spring, and then so slowly turned into the rebirth of Christ, you yeah. know what I mean? So, uh... But they touch on that a little bit, and it's kind of cool how, like, the chick's like, well, at least my holiday is still celebrated. And they're like, well, it's not for you. You know what I mean? And she's like, it is for me. Does and she then, get, <laughs> like, a smaller amount of belief 
Yeah, or whatever yeah, they're like, <laughs> because of that. Yeah, they're like, uh, they don't pray to you. And she's like, some people pray to me. And they, uh, no, you don't. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no one does. So it, Is she like skimming out of like Easter's? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically, like she, it basically looks like she just sold out to Easter. She was like, all right, whatever. She has like Easter bunnies and eggs and everything all around and all that crap. But uh, it's cool how they, you know, it's like a weird way of looking at it. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, the the Pardon the me. actor who plays <laughs> this person is is she in like anything else that I've seen? Um, she was. In that, um, was she, in, was she the chick from Pushing Up Daisies? Yeah, yep, yeah. Pushing Up Daisies. Yeah, that little uh, chick that's like an opera singer. Yeah, yeah, that's her. Yep. Okay, I thought she looked familiar because I saw like a poster for it on IGN, and uh, I was like, she looks familiar, but like I'm not sure. Yeah, I couldn't remember the sh- uh, the show name, but that's what it was, Pushing okay. Up Daisies. Yeah, that's what I saw her in before. Where the uh, pie maker such a sequel brings it back to life. Yeah, yeah, it was really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like it was really weird how it was filmed like, and everything he could, too. Like, touches like love interest at all. They yeah. like kiss through Saran wrap and yeah. like wear rubber gloves. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the, it's like the worst power ever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean it, it's a it's a cool show. Like I said, if you can follow it, you might have to watch the first season twice or whatever. But uh, it at least during the end of the season they start actually explaining some stuff because the first two episodes it's kind of like lost for American Gods right not Pushing Up Daisies right American Gods yeah (laughs) yeah I did watch a lot of Pushing Up Daisies but that wasn't by choice (laughs) (laughs) Uh, but uh way to go Jeff I'm going off in the middle of recording yeah oh that reminds me I should probably turn mine down yeah yeah yeah, yeah. while you do the exact same yeah, thing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, everyone turn the phone. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, American Gods. It's cool. Uh, it has a really cool opening scene. I yeah. I don't want to give too much away, but it's the opening scene, so you're gonna see it if you watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's probably the first thing you see unless there's like a little mini intro beforehand. Uh, yeah, like these Vikings come are riding across the water. And they come across this island, and they think it's going to be, like, a new promising land and everything. Yeah. And as soon as they're walking on the island, someone goes and gets hit by, like, a thousand arrows. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, even when he falls over, one last one hits him in the bottom of his foot. <laughs> like, dude, and they're all like, oh, shit. So they try to, like, run away. And when they try to run away, there's no wind. Right? So they try to please their god, which their god is a god of war. Right, so they try to please their god by a sacrifice. So they all like heat up a knife and stab themselves in the right eye, and like a line, like he stabs all of his men in the lo- eye, and then stabs himself in the eye. And you're like Jesus Christ, and then they he made them pick like their best warrior, and then they burned him. <laughs> and Is that the right thing to do when you're up against an enemy. <laughs> right. that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like I didn't understand their thoughts whatsoever, and then they were like, oh well, the. uh their god was a god of war, so they knew what they had to do. So they split in half, and half take their shirts off, so it's shirts versus skins to a battle to the death. Dude, and they're just fighting to the death, and then about, like, halfway through the fight, the wind starts blowing, and they all haul ass. <laughs> but I'm just like, this is insane. Like, from the get-go, you're like, all right, I can, I'll can, probably watch this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has my interest now. <laughs> like, I had interest before, but now I just want to see that. So, yeah, yeah that's, I'll have to look into that. Yeah, it's pretty cool, and it goes through all kinds of different parts. Like, it goes to, like, um, like the slaves being brought across on the boat, and it's kind of weird because there's a guy from, like, today talking to these slaves and stuff, and it's weird how they're, like, mixing everything up. But he, um, they haven't said it yet, but I'm pretty sure that dude's a god that, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's been passing through, but he looks like a guy from today, you know what I mean? Okay. But he was, like, in this, uh, on the slave ship talking to them and everything. And he's basically like, burn this mother down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's a cool show. And, like I said, you might have to uh, watch it twice if you're not really into, like, mind twist shows or whatever. But uh, it definitely piqued my interest and kept me interested the whole time. Okay. I'm looking forward to the second season. You guys have been, like, watching this like, piece by piece, like, as it comes out? Uh, no, no, we, uh, we kind of binge-watched it, like, okay. re- recently. All right, I, I figured that was probably going to be the best way to watch it, to yeah. be, like, all at once. Because, like, I can never remember anything yeah. when I watch it on, like, a Yeah, I, f- I feel like, uh, if you watched it on the week-to-week, you would probably miss a lot. 
Okay. Where if you just watch it straight through, you're going to see a lot of stuff that you didn't notice before. I wonder what that does to, like, show ratings. Because I'm sure there's people that, like, wait till the... Like, I do personally. Like, right. I'll wait till the show is over. And then yeah. I'm like, where can I watch all of it? <laughs> yeah, like, it's weird. That's it's... how I go about it. And, like, and I'm, I'm sure, sure that a lot hurts of people... the show's ratings. I'm probably, oh, yeah. like, a lot of people do that. Yeah. But, like, I think, like, the only shows that get away with it are probably, like, Walking Dead. Where, yeah. like, you... Oddly enough, like, you remember everything that happened in the previous week of The Walking Dead. And it, it like, sticks with you. Yeah. Um, so, well, do you want to talk a little bit about Walking Dead right now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess we can. Um, it's actually coming It's coming back semi-soon, right? I mean, no, it, it, that'll probably be in October or something, Yeah, it's right? usually, like, uh, mid-September when uh, yeah. Walking Dead starts up and then, like, they usually finish up right before, I want to say Christmas, and then they come back in February, something like that. Yeah, 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 they always come back in, like, near February. And, and uh, uh, like, right now, Fear the Walking Dead out, which is cool, but, like, everyone's way more invested in the characters from Walking Dead. Yeah. So, like, Fear the Walking Dead is basically just your fix until Walking Dead comes out again. Yeah, I've, I've just watched <laughs> a few episodes with you guys, um, like, every... Almost every night after uh, we're done the podcast, and uh, like I find it harder to follow, and it feels like less is going on. Yeah, and they kind of like their main characters kind of. Um, I don't even know who the main character is in that. Show. Right, because they bounce around so much in the show, it's hard to pay attention. Where like in Walking Dead, it's like this group of people, and they want to remain a group. Yeah. This is like they try to separate all the time. It's weird. Like the one son never wants to be around them and all this stuff. So. Okay, because like I, I feel less invested if I don't have like a main character to focus on. Right. I mean, I like the main character Nick, but he's so unpredictable that it makes it almost not fun to care about him as a character. So like he's not like Rick unpredictable. Because like nah. Rick is right, right. unpredictable in Walking Dead. He is unpredictable but he still follows something that you would expect him to do but yeah. how that action is transpired is unexpected I yeah guess. yeah but like yeah i don't, I don't know the, the way this guy is he's kind of like uh i don't know it's basically when anything gets hard or anything crazy happens he's just kind of like why don't we just roll where like rick would be like we got gonna kill yeah these we're gonna fuck these guys <laughs> up you know what i mean <laughs> And, uh, so, I mean, there's definitely no comparison to him or Rick. Uh, yeah. I mean, Rick's development as a character since the first episode. Remember how nice he started off yeah. as? He yeah. was, like, a nice town sheriff, and, like, he's like, all right, well, I have authority. And everyone's like, your world's over. And he's like, all right, maybe I don't have authority, but I have a strong <laughs> voice to listen to. Yeah. And then, like, it just became like, I'm done talking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then it, like, he, he, he went from, like, I'm gonna, I promise to keep you safe. To, I promise I'm going to kill you with this machete. <laughs> like, <laughs> which he did. <laughs> he kept up that red heady, uh, red heady, red, uh, handled machete. The, uh, in the okay. church. He chopped that dude. He told him, I'm going to kill you with that machete. And it took like a whole season. It took a whole season. <laughs> kept his promise. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Rick's development from the beginning, and we're talking, you know, show mainly, not a uh, comic book, because they're two totally different things now. Um, but the development, uh, from Rick's character from beginning to now is definitely crazy, uh, how he gets way more badass, but also he has these moments where he breaks mentally and he's pretty much useless as a person for yeah, like a hot like, minute. <laughs> I, I don't want to give any spoilers, but, uh, when they're at the prison and, uh, someone dies... It's so hard to talk about without giving spoilers. Right, and um, I, honestly, if you haven't seen up to at least Negan at this point, I don't think I'm we should care. I'm wondering, are you yeah. even going to watch it? Yeah, are you even going to watch point? it? Right. That's <laughs> but, a lot uh, of watching to get up to that. What season are we in now? Six or seven? Seven, I think. We're in season seven, so, um, yeah, I mean, he, he didn't even show no, up. No, we're in the, the second half of six. Well, no, seven would be upcoming. It's, yeah, it's upcoming seven, yeah. Okay. It's about to be seven. Yeah. So... From midway six, 
Ford. If you haven't seen that, that's a lot of binge watching to see. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you probably wouldn't be listening to this podcast. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> but, um, uh, all right. Well, here's some spoilers. Skip ahead maybe a minute if you want to miss it. But all right. And here it is. So when Lori dies at the yeah. prison, yeah. like and they he's have the, the cl- out of commission for like a good two days. Yeah, well, just I'm, wandering. Sorry, two episodes. Yeah, just wandering out in the uh, like that's when he goes outside the gate, right, and just wanders around like randomly. No, he was doing that beforehand too. Oh yeah, and well that's when he starts seeing like Lori's quote unquote ghost or whatever, yeah. right? And that's what like almost kills him at one point. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And uh. I don't know, like, when you mentally break like that as a character, it's, I'm surprised they've brought him back to even being liked as a character. <laughs> yeah, I, I had, had a strong, uh, spoilers are over, by the way, yeah. but um, I feel like uh, they were putting him down a dark path, like, and it was staying steady for a good while. I was like, I don't think he has, like, any kind of redemption. I they're yeah. going to kill him soon, which is crazy to think that, like, the only option the show has is to kill their main character to rectify them. Right. But, like, uh, that's how it was feeling, because, like, like, are we just going to have a bad guy as the main character for the rest of the show? Right. Like, we didn't, right. we didn't know how they were going to take it. But I did like that they pulled him back to, like, now his, like, morals are different. Like, everything... Everything's more gray. Yeah, everything's gray. It's Whereas like it comes it down was to like the moment. Solid white, yeah. And yeah. then it was like black. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is bad. This is bad, and this is good. Now it's like this is good, and this can be debatable. <laughs> like yeah. uh, he kind of like goes with the best for the group now, regardless of what it, ha- it means. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, uh. I know you haven't seen after Negan shows up. Yeah, the last episode I saw was where Negan killed someone. Uh, it's not revealed until the beginning of season six who. I know who it is, but like uh, a lot of people didn't. Then again, a lot of people do know just yeah. <laughs> just because it's like posted everywhere. Right? Yeah, but, there's uh, memes yeah, that, of it and was, gifts and everything. Yeah, like that. That, that was where I left off because Netflix needs to add. More to it, more to the season, but they'll probably do that in September. So it's it'll just be a little while till I see it. Um, uh, but also, uh, without trying to spoil too much, Rick also has a little bit of a mental break after the show of Negan too. Okay, and it almost makes you think that he's going to go back down this dark path, and he almost like bitches out and becomes not Rick. You know what I mean? And you're like, wow, this is weird. But, you know, the, I don't want to spoil actor, any more than that. <laughs> the actor, Andrew Lincoln, I really love his acting. Oh, yeah. Like, the only he, thing that I have You ever, can, like, look at his face when he's in character, and, like, you can just tell the emotional, yeah. like, level that his character is in at that time. Like, there's been plenty of times where he just has, like, a glazed look. And he's just, like, not looking at anybody directly. He's, like, looking yeah. through them. Yeah. And, like, that's when you know you should be worried <laughs> yeah. for, like, whatever he's about to do. Because, like, that's that's basically gone Rick. Yeah. And then, like, yeah, like, whenever he is, like, furrowing his brow or, like, um, trying to reason with people, like, that's when you know Rick is, like, there. And then, like, you can tell when he's not because he's, like super spacey it's like that's what you um that that's what like a lot of people uh say to look for when like something is mentally wrong with somebody like i've heard like plenty of uh like warnings about like if you see like change in behavior of somebody and they're doing this like that that's like warnings they get for like oh well this person may commit suicide or this person might go on a mass shooting right <laughs> so like, well, through through like this time though like in Walking Dead there's no way that the people that are alive right now aren't fucked up in the head yeah <laughs> they've, seen, they've seen a lot they've, they've seen their family members eaten they've killed numerous people zombies anything 
people uh, they thought were zombies. Yeah. <laughs> um, some people crumple and die, and then some people try to survive. I mean, it's the whole flight or flight, fight or flight thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but you're talking about Rick possibly dying at one point when you were th- thinking about him. Uh, yeah. And uh, I, uh, it made me think of. Uh, there's a. Have you heard of the old man Carl theory? There's old a, man Carl. No. Yeah, there's a theory called the old man Carl theory that eventually Rick's gonna die, and you're gonna be like, damn, the main character died. And then you realize the main character was Carl the whole time, and he's telling this story as an old man. I don't know if I want that to happen. <laughs> right, right. It's it's just it, it's just a theory, and it, hopefully they don't end it that way because the theory is already out. I find that lazy. <laughs> right, right. But um, they the writing, the way they talk about the writing, it is kind of cool. Like um, if you notice, every time that uh, Carl is involved in a scene, the writing's a little heavier. Like they, um, like every, all the details are there a little bit more. Okay. Like he was there. Um, also, uh, Rick is like a glorified person and it would be the same way kind as like, like a kid would see his dad. Like how would you, like he kind of, he doesn't do things that are out of the realm of possibility of a person, but his like, his, uh, his stamina, badassness. Yeah. yeah. Like, like his. Uh, How he can get just literally thrown into a group of zombies and survive where oh, yeah. 90% of people can't in the show alone. Yeah, he just takes out a pocket knife. Yeah, yeah. And, like, <laughs> uh, there's this one part where he fights uh, It's in the new season, and it, I'm not going to talk too much about it because you haven't seen it, but right. uh, there's a zombie that has, like, nails through his head, basically, and Rick fights him. And, dude, it's like a drag-out fight, but, like, no one else would have survived this, like, the way it was going. And zombie has nails in his head? Wouldn't it die? No. Well, what it is is that they poured metal over its head and put nails oh, into the metal. Okay. So, like, it's charging at him, and he slams his hand on it, and a spike goes through his hand, and he slams it down on the ground and just does his Rick yeah, thing to it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you're like, okay, well, that's an he epic. Has, he has, like, <laughs> berserker rage almost. Yeah. Right. And uh, it kind of goes with... It, it's a way a, a right. child would glorify yeah. their dad. You, you know remember what I mean? um, before they got to um, Terminus, the yeah. the big showdown they had before Terminus, mm-hmm. and then um, uh, Rick has to take control of the situation when he is basically on his knees at gunpoint in a hostage situation and still manages to find a way to rip the dude's throat out. Right, right, yeah. That's what I'm saying. And, like, there's so many times where he does something, you're just like, holy shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, he's definitely, like, the the only character that would survive a lot of stuff and that would, not only that, like, bite a dude's throat out and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see, uh, and I do like when they take that character to that, like, animalistic, area where he's just like nothing can stop him now like, yeah. but it, it, it is it goes with the, the old man Carl theory the way that a kid would glorify their dad so who knows hopefully they don't do that because it would be a little cheesy and kind of an uh, easy way out I feel like it's a cop out yeah, yeah. to do that but uh, also the fact that it's already been thought of and put out there so you don't want, you don't want to do yeah. it even if it was going to be the ending you want to change it now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because you don't want to be that guy that's just like well, watch now they'll change the old man Daryl <laughs> yeah old man Daryl <laughs> old man Daryl which I'm surprised Daryl's always there too <laughs> yeah Daryl's always there yeah. yeah and it's actually it's actually weird too because like um Daryl is not in the comic books. Yeah, at he's all. A, he's a character made up for the show. Right, but and you oddly th- enough, he's like one of one everyone's of the favorite, favorite characters. Yeah. And you thought he would have? Uh, well, I thought uh, with the writing, he would have died off because just looking at it from the outside, not looking at the show, he was not in the comic book. Yeah, you know what it's I mean? like oh well, he's not canon, so like yeah. he'll be the first to go. Yeah, and but. in the comic book, Tyrese is kind of Daryl. He's like uh, Rick's right hand man. No pun intended. Is that the guy with the hammer? Tyrese is the 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 big black dude. But they killed him, didn't they? What? In in the show? In the show? Yeah, yeah, they they killed him now, yeah. Yeah, 
All right, well, we're not gonna now, keep but... running into spoilers because like, <laughs> yeah, like, it's impossible not spoil. spoilers. Yeah, but we apologize yeah, that's the dude now. with the hammer. Yeah, you okay. were saying the guy with the hammer. Yeah, 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 he carried around. I forgot he carried around the, like a hammer. In yeah. the comic books, he had like a sledgehammer on there. Yeah, and then they gave him like this little like ball. Paper. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so he's right, uh, Rick's right hand man, and I I've only read like literally like cliff notes of all of them just because I wanted to know. Um, everything up till Negan. Okay. And I haven't read past Negan because I don't want to know what happens to Negan or anything in the future. I'm not saying that the show will even keep with the comic, but sometimes more than not, they keep with like the big moments of the comic and kind of change whatever else. I'm pretty sure like Negan's still alive in the comics, and yeah. like I don't think they've done anything with him. I think they've like moved on from him, so like he still exists in the world, but like yeah. he's not like a main threat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't I haven't read much further. I feel like they may do something different from that in this show. One reason why is because Jeffrey Dean Morgan doesn't stay in the TV show for very long. Right. Like, uh, when I'm he was sure. on Supernatural, he was only there for, like, a season. And then he'd have, like, um, not exactly, like, guest appearances, but it'd be almost, like, cameo-level, mm-hmm. like, appearances. And, um... I'm sure it costs a lot <laughs> to have him <laughs> there. I think he just likes doing multiple projects. Yeah. And I don't know how committed he is to this, as far as, like, on a long-term scale. I can see, like, maybe two seasons worth of him, but I feel like they're either going to have him die in the show, or they're going to have him change in some way that he's, like... All right, well, I'm fucking off, and I'm going to go to another place in the United States that, <laughs> that you guys will never go to. And, like, I, yeah, that's my I feeling. Know. I feel like that's, they're either going to do something like that, or they'll just kill him outright. I think the only way to stop him would be to kill him. Like, in the, like I said, I haven't read too much of him in the comic book, but I know in the show, he's pretty ruthless, and he's, like, power-hungry. And, like, when you ask a person of his group, uh, where's Negan? They say, I'm Negan. Yeah. And, it, like, then the whole group will be like, we're Negan. And it's, like, intimidating. And he yeah. wants to, like, overpower you. And, like, that's what he does to break you. He's like, just say who you are. And you have to say you're Negan or get your head bashed in by Lucille or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, um, I've been looking into a lot of news on State of the Decay uh, recently. State of Decay 2, anyways. Uh, I know you haven't played the first one, but I definitely did when it came out. And I was getting everyone to buy that shit before it came out. Because I expected it to have multiplayer. And then it did it. Uh, I would have hated you. I would have hated you. <laughs> yeah, you would have hated me. Um, yeah. It was a good game. Like uh, It was probably the more challenging zombie game. Not because of zombies. Like, the zombies were, like, more or less pushovers unless you got surrounded. Right. Um, which is kind of, like, how zombies have always been. Yeah, and how they um, should be. Uh, I, the fucking chemical crazy zombie is always hard to deal with. I don't think any human would survive that world. <laughs> with the one that's just like, ah, yeah, sprint, sprint They next. have those, though. <laughs> but, like, uh, this game has access to vehicles. Um, more so, this is a survival game, more so than... It's a, it feels like a survival game that happens to take place during a zombie apocalypse. Okay. So, like, you are trying to, like, get food for your people. You're trying to set up bases and stuff like that. But uh, the main thing about this game was that if you died, your character was dead for good. You would have to start a new Ooh. character from scratch. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I would be like, this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's about survival. It's a... It's more so, like, investment and choosing your movements better. Like, you can't just, like, think you're unstoppable at all times. Because, like, if you have that thought process during that, any like, for an extended period in that game, you will uh, end up making a mistake because you think you can't be killed. And then, next thing you know, you're surrounded by hordes and the feral zombies and, like, a super zombie. <laughs> so, like... It's definitely choose your choose your movement, um, be good at reading the situation, and uh, yeah, just don't get cocky in general. So like doing all that in one game, uh, 
trying to make sure that you didn't die. Just basically trying to see how far you could get. Um, like, it was a good challenge. But now they finally listen to the fans and the State of Decay 2, they're going to have multiplayer. So just imagine, like, the teamwork we'll have to do. Like, right. oh, well, like, I'm scavenging in this half of the town. You go take that half. Or we would have to stick together just to cover each other's back. All right. So, like, that sounds fun. a lot I'm of down choices we can do. And I think it's four-player uh, co-op. That would be cool. Dude, uh, I, I, I miss zombie co-op. We haven't done that since, what, Dead Island? Yeah, and Dead Island 2, Riptide. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess it's just Dead Island, Riptide. Uh, yeah. They're working on a Dead Island 2, but I don't know. I don't really care too much about that. Right, yeah. I had a lot of fun with uh, Riptide, though. Yeah. It, it was a blast. I think it's just we make it, like anything, when you play with one of your friends, you guys find a way to make it more fun, even if it isn't that point. <laughs> yeah. We, we make the, the most out of the mundane, I guess. Uh, yeah. yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, I, I, I enjoyed the zombie fighting co-op and everything, so I... I'd be down with playing this game, uh, doing some co-op, searching around the town and stuff. And four players would be cool, too. Yeah. We and could do, split up and do different stuff. And Yeah, we could split up a piece of two if we wanted to, which would be way better than what they did in the first game. Basically, you would, like, pick, like, uh, survivors, basically. Uh, and you would, like, four or like, five I have them. a rake. <laughs> it's like, all right, well, put the rake down. Here's a baseball bat. And they're like, oh, thank you. And, uh, I've been beating zombies <laughs> with this rake for years. It never like thought it. to look at. <laughs> never thought to look for a baseball bat. <laughs> but, yeah, you would like give them stuff, and then uh, you could like kind of command them to follow you around. But like, I feel like having actual people wa- watching your back. It's like, okay, there's two that are looking at our position. Right. Like, we're good for right now. But like. uh if it, there are hordes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, there are literal hordes that, like, in, in Walking Dead, how they, it's almost like a, an ocean wave of, like, zombies. They have those in this game. Wow. And it's just, like, bunches that, like, move as one, and then, uh, like, you try to just avoid them at all costs. Or oh, yeah, if you yeah. have a car that can take it, you can mow <laughs> through them. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, uh, for the most part, it's just best to avoid them. And I think, I can't remember exactly if they only come out at night. Um, the hordes come out at I night. Think, I think they can come the out at any time. Out at night. <laughs> I think they can come out at any time. I think I saw but gameplay I of this game when it first night. came out and horde, getting attacked by a horde. I think that was the gameplay that I saw of it. Okay. And um, the dude was running, and they were just running through every nook and cranny that they could to get at him, basically. Yeah, like... I remember playing, and then I would I'd be in like a little uh, neighborhood basically, and I'd, I I would try to like maybe hide from it. But it, when you're inside a place, you can kind of hide. But if you make noise, then I mean, one know. of them will hear you. Then right. the other ones get interest because it's uh, <laughs> zombie, how zombies work. Because zombies are the most terrifying thing. It's crazy, because, like, I've always thought how horrible it would be. And people are like, yeah, zombie apocalypse. I'm like, no, that's horrible, dude. Think of these people that have nothing, nothing but to kill. You know what I mean? They just the only want to kill. to kill you. Yeah, and nothing will stop them. They'll chew on glass, you know, smear their face on glass to break through it to get, get to you. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> and then even worse is what people would do in that situation when it actually happened, because then you just get human slavery and rape, <laughs> rape and everything else horrible in the world just from a group of guys like, hey, I I want some gold and pussy. And like, <laughs> that, the government has fallen. Time to fill a whole train full of a bunch of women against their will. Right. They'll sell them out like cattle. Right. And it, as long as it, but it's horrible to say, but we live in that fucking world where it would take 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, man, we haven't even shoplifted the Walmart yet, and you're already in human trafficking. Dude's getting his fish net ready. He's like, I'm going to go capture me some girls and sell them to whoever wants them. Oh, God. <laughs> That'd be horrible. I mean, that's how that's how it goes, though. Yeah. And that's how like it was. That's how people were. They were like, yeah, I, I feel like getting. That's how it used to be. Yeah. Like back back, in, back the day, in the day, I want some liquor like, and some ass. I'm gonna go take it from that town next to just, us. Yeah, they were just like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna round some people up and yeah. see what I can get for them. Yeah. I mean, dude, if the world. <laughs> I got new crops, but I got people in the next yeah. town. Over. If the world went to shit, I would find the strongest people I, I had around me. We'd be like, hey, we'll split all the shit. And then you just charge into wherever you're going. <laughs> but you would be Negan. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I would. And actually, I, I've thought about this way too much. I would do horrible stuff like people did in the old days. 
Like I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't attack you and destroy your town and kill you. I would do stuff like surround your town and let you and starve you yourself out. out, and then take over whatever you have left. Like I would surround it so you can't get anything in or out. Then what I do is launch a rotting animal into your water supply, and then that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's chemical warfare right there. So they can't drink the water, they can't eat. It'll take two weeks for you to have the whole place. And you just sit there and eat bonbons. Well, that's a good thing <laughs> I'm your friend, Sean. <laughs> <sighs> All right, moving on from human torture. <laughs> um, what else do I got for you? Oh, uh, I've been watching uh, another zombie-related topic. Uh, I've been watching iZombie on Netflix. And the reason I started watching that was because uh, I, I watch the YouTube channel Funhouse all the time. Yep. Um, uh, they got uh, one guest that they always have. Well, not always. A guest that <laughs> comes on sometimes. His name is uh, Rahul. And uh, they always talk about him being in that show iZombie. And uh, he seems like a cool, cool guy. So I was like, oh, well, I'll check this out. And, like, it's a cheesy... It's cheesy. It feels almost Canadian in a way, but it's okay. it's a funny show. Okay. Um, I don't know if it does anything new. Well, yeah, I guess it does. Okay. Uh, so the plot is a girl uh, goes to a party that she didn't want to go to in the first place, uh, out on the uh, out on the dock in her town, and uh, she doesn't normally go to the parties. She's like the straight A student. Uh, she works at a hospital, oh, yeah, and yeah, okay. she's just like not uptight, but she's very uh, tight laced. I, I guess you would say. Okay. And um, she uh, she goes to the party, and um, there's a new drug going around, and that's at the party. And then all of a sudden, people start turning into zombies. Oh, that's awful. And, uh, <laughs> you tried that new drug? The dude's over there is killing gets him. she attacked, and she doesn't get bitten, but she gets scratched, and she gets knocked into the water. And then uh, the next day, she wakes up in a body bag and, like, sits up and, like, coughs out, like, a long, long's worth of water. Right. And her hair starts having blonde streaks in it, and she's starting to lose pigment in her skin. And then, like, this is going on through, like, the first episode. And then, like, it shows you her now, and she has, like, a full head of blonde hair. She's, like, super pale, like, dead person pale. Right. <laughs> and, um, basically, like, everyone's complaining, like, oh, you're not, like, how you used to be. It's, like, all the life's out of you. And, well, she's now a living zombie. She's, she's like, a half-breed. <laughs> she's undead, but she's not, like, feral or anything. Yeah. She's still, she can still think and talk and, like, do everything, but technically she's dead. And uh, the show is mostly revolves around her and how she feels the need to eat brains, but like uh, it's like a hunger that comes and goes, uh, and like she has to like satisfy it in order for it to like stay away longer. And so she stops working at the hospital and starts working at the morgue, nice. and then she starts eating the brains of dead people. Yeah, I mean, so you got she's pl- not hurting anybody. Yeah, you got plenty of brains there. That's pretty good. Yeah, but <laughs> that worked the, out. <laughs> the side effect is that when she eats people's brains, she regains their memories through flashbacks okay. that are triggered through like uh, something that is similar to something that is in reference to the said flashback. She'll like remember it by seeing something, kind of like when you see something, you're like, oh yeah, I remember right, something right. that happened yeah. to me that. So it's like she's triggered by right, okay. memories. That's pretty crazy. But, I guess that's. I mean, they did a. I don't know. Did, didn't they do that in that other zombie movie, uh, where you ate the, they ate the brains and they felt like they're things? But that was that one where the dude started turning human again. I don't know. A zombie. It was like a, a romance zombie movie. What the fuck was that thing called? Ah, never mind. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. The only romance zombie movie I can think of is like my boyfriend back, which is like this no, old shitty no, movie no, from no, the nineties. No. no, this was um. <laughs> Do you remember, babe, the zombie movie where the dude uh, came back, uh, started coming back to life because he fell in love with that chick? Oh, um, uh, 
No. No, we're having a brain fart, so we ain't gonna worry about that. I think I remember yeah, what he, you're talking well, he about. He ate brains, and he, like, felt their moments or something weird, like their happiness okay. or something weird. I, I used it like a drug, I felt like. Uh, warm bodies. Yeah. Warm okay. bodies, yeah, yeah. I don't know if he used it as a drug. So it's been a while since I've seen it. Similar but, <laughs> pretense, but yeah. more median-based or ghost whisperer, I guess. <laughs> but uh, I've been watching that, and it's... Like I said, it's kind of, like, quirky, and, like, it has a lot of tongue-in-cheek moments, but, uh, I find it overall enjoyable. She can't, like, taste food, really, unless she pours, like, uh, like, wasabi or, like, the hottest hot sauce into it. Oh, yeah. And, uh, that's, that's, like, the only, that's, like, the closest thing she has to flavor is, like, the burning sensation. That's <laughs> so weird. it's not even, like, real taste. So she's like someone that's been smoking for 50 years. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can't taste nothing. Let me throw some Tabasco on you. But uh, <laughs> she'll like, she's, all the time she's trying to like make different dishes that involve the brain. And she made like ramen one time nice. and put brains in it. Brain and ramen. And she's eating it with chopsticks. So, nice. yeah. I'm sure there's like a Hannibal cookbook out there that she, <laughs> <laughs> she can look up. <laughs> yeah. Like, It'd be like, it's calves' brains. Actually, it's your brain. You're eating yeah. your own brain. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's a show that I haven't seen in a while. I still need to finish. Have you seen the NBC? Uh, yeah, yeah, show? yeah. We watched we watched all of it. Yeah, I thought it was I really good. I never finished season three though. We were talking about it, and I thought we were talking about it the other day, and I thought the first season was awesome. Uh, it kind of I didn't gets, know, eh, but like uh, yeah. the first season is awesome. Yeah, uh, I definitely like the because that one's more involved with like dreams. Stuff. Yeah, and I kind of always been interested in stuff like that, but yeah, plus like the the murders are epic. Yeah, uh, <laughs> like, because they're all basically like showcases. Of, yeah, like look at this trophy that I took, and right. I'm gonna put it in a trophy position, basically. Uh, right. Yeah. The one dude they had a fucking uh, a cello neck shoved down his neck, and the and his dude played cords. his vocal yeah. cords with the bow, and just like. <laughs> You don't get much more epic than that. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. not like a cello, but a cello from hell. Yeah, it was like, Rrr. I could imagine it just being like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a scream comes out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, they had really good uh, murders in there, and it was really like um, thriller-esque and like yeah. catch you really into it. That was one where like, as soon as the episode ended, I wanted to watch another one. Right. And... And uh, it was, I actually watched that one weekly. That was probably the last series I watched. On yeah, we were basis. watching it weekly for a little and bit. And I, like, couldn't handle it anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. it was stressing me out because I'm like, oh, there needs to be more. And yeah. I would just be, like, start reading online about it. And, like, there wouldn't even have anything for the next episode ready or anything. But, yeah, like, no. I needed some kind of fix. So I would go and w- watch previous episodes online that I'd already just seen. Yeah. And yeah, no, nah, it was really good. I like. Shame it got canceled. Yeah, no one nah. watched it. But yeah. whatever. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, I think about ninety percent of my favorite shows get canceled. Yeah. So I mean, it's just can't have anything cool. It's like this is too complex for the. Yeah, I don't person. feel like coming home from work and sitting down and thinking while watching a show. <laughs> it's too hard. Can I have the audience laugh for me? <laughs> yeah. Can you insert when I'm supposed to laugh? Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> that's why I can't watch fucking. Um, What's this called? With Sheldon and all those. Oh, uh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I can't watch that. Nah, I mean, all right, the laugh track does get annoying, but it is funny, and uh, at least it's highbrow humor for a lot of it. But also, it's lowbrow too. They try to keep it as simple as possible. I just can't do it. <laughs> I mean, I I watch it. I like the show, but uh, it's all right. <laughs> but uh, it yeah. I I usually don't watch shows with like laugh tracks or anything. <laughs> But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for us today. Oh, oh. Oh, never no, mind. No, Maybe something else? No. I had something. Nah, had that's, something. Uh, we're gonna, we're, we'll talk about that next time. Okay. All right, well, this has been our fourth episode. zombie-themed yeah. fourth episode. Actually, in American, uh, God, there's a zombie, too, so... Almost yeah, 100%. Everything we talked about today has been zombie related. Yeah, a little zombie related for you. It's cool. But All fourth right. episode, zombie related. Yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, that's it, guys. See you later. Take it easy.